Do you avoid emotional intimacy or physical intimacy? That's anxious avoidant. You feel a strong sense of independence. You're uncomfortable expressing your feelings. You're dismissive of others. Sounds like me. <laughs> dismissive of others. Uh, you have a hard time trusting people. Well, I wouldn't have a hard time trusting people if they weren't such terrible cunts. <laughs> feel threatened by anyone who tries to get close to you. I'd probably just get back. Spend more time alone than interacting with others. This is damning at this point. This is not funny. This is damning. I feel personally attacked. Believe you don't need others in your life. Just come out and say it. I don't like all these implications. I'd like if you've got something to say to me personally, let's just do it now. Um, and then it says in inverted commas, commitment issues. This, this is rude. This is just rude. I, I don't appreciate this. Uh, it's passive aggressive. The psychologist is so passive aggressive. How it manifests in relationships. Anxious avoidant adults may, need, may tend to navigate relationships at an arm's length. The need for emotional intimacy is simply lacking in this type of individual, so romantic relationships are not able to reach any level of depth. Sounds like me. <laughs> Feel threatened by anyone who tries to get close to you. I'd probably just get back, get back, get back. Me. Anxious <laughs> avoidant. Me. Anxious <laughs> avoidant. Anxious avoidant.